Verizon announcing plans to purchase prepaid phone provider TrackPhone this morning. It's a deal that could be worth as much as $7 billion. Verizon CEO Hans Vestberg joins us now for an exclusive interview. Hans, thanks for uh, making the time, getting to the Zoom here, or whatever you're using to uh, connect to us. Um, why are you doing this deal? Good morning, David. Uh, no, I think this is, uh, as you and I have been discussing many times before, we have a clear strategy as a network, as a service. Uh, this is coming a g very good in hand with our offering. I mean, today we're the number one on the premium offerings. This is a prepaid offering where we today have 4 million subscribers only. We're adding in the 21 million, which are the majority already are using the Verizon network because TrackFun is an MVNO on top of the network. So we are, I think we can bring our, our scale to the customers and the consumers, as well as bringing the innovation that we have from the premium segment. And suddenly we continue to use our network and service that we have been talking now for two, three years as a main strategy. So this fits very well into the main strategy that we outlined two years no. Right. But all right. So you're getting a lot bigger in the prepaid business, as you made clear, from four million to what would be almost 25 million when you add in their 21 million subs. Why is that a business, though, Hans, that you want to be larger in? No, I think that, first of all, we want to play in all the segments for, for the consumers in the United States and be able to use our scale, because ultimately we talk about our scale, the network, the distribution platform, uh, the innovation platform, and we can then orchestrate that on the needs of our customers. And that's sort of the idea we had all the time that we can do that for different types of parts of the segment uh, in, in this market. And uh, so that, that fits very well in for us. And that it is a growth segment as well, so it also plays into our growth narrative that we want to grow GDP plus. So it fits into all the things we've discussed um, the previous two years. Yeah, why? Well, I, I mean, it's, it's a fairly sizable price you're paying here for these subs. We can measure it in different ways. But why was it, you know, a price that you feel is a, is a reasonable one for Verizon to be paying for these, for these subs, the 90,000 retail locations as well? No, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a fair valuation that we're paying for. Uh, we have, of course, uh, operational efficiencies that we can bring into this and ultimately the innovation we, uh, that we can bring to the table in order to get, create growth. So, so for us, it all hangs together uh, with, uh, with our business model. And then, uh, as we said, also uh, the first uh, year of uh, operation, we believe we're going to be uh, EPS accretive on this one. So it all hangs together with the financial right. prudence that we all have together with the strategy strategic intent we have. Is it is a reflection at all of your concern about the U.S. economy? I mean, I bring that up because obviously prepaid typically, you know, have a credit that is not as strong uh, and things of that nature. Is it perhaps a reflection of the times we're in where we're going to unfortunately have a lot of people who have to go that route? No, no, actually, we started this conversation. First of all, we have been a long-term partner of TrackFone and the majority of all the customers on the track phone network is on the net uh, on the Verizon network. We started this conversation at the latter part of 2019 uh, as we saw this fitting into our strategy. So, uh, of course, in today's environment, you see more uh, po potential uh, when it comes to the prepaid as we're in COVID-19. But it was more of a long term strategy that we have outlined as a company. Hans, Jim Kramer. Hey, Kramer. How you been? I'm fine. You. All right, buddy. OK, listen to me. Red Ventures today buys uh, CNET from Viacom, $500 million. What is the price that you're willing to sell uh, Yahoo? I think, first of all, we are very <laughs> happy on the performance we have on Verizon Media Group and uh, how they have been uh, performing both now in the COVID, but also since we started with a new strategy. I think we have great assets in all the over-the-top Yahoo Sports, Yahoo Finance, etc. And we have a great and strong uh, uh, technology advertising platform. So I, I feel good about that, and it fits well into our overall strategy. Hans, finally, you know, we try to get uh, a feel for the U.S. economy from you as well. I know you haven't, obviously, you're in the middle of the quarter to a certain extent. But yeah. um, what are you seeing right now? You know, the pledge and things of that nature. What are you seeing in terms of people's ability to continue to stay connected and pay their bills, particularly given the extra unemployment benefit that many were getting uh, was diminished significantly not that long ago? 
So I can only go back a couple of weeks uh, back when we when we had our reporting and and uh, which was in the end of July. You know, we we still saw a, a, I would say a, a healthy base of our, from our customers uh, how they were spending and how they were paying their bills. Uh, so uh, I don't think we have seen any major difference from that uh, so far. But ultimately, we will come back and report on that uh, when we come to the next quarter.